Hello everybody, Balls here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Stationeers on the Windows platform. And as usual, any of the links in the video can be found in the description below. Before we get started, there are a few things you'll need in order to set the server up. One, you'll need to install CMD on the system you are choosing to run the server on. Two, you will need to know how to set up and forward a couple of ports. We'll talk about them later. Last but not least, you need to be aware of a few things about the game running as a dedicated server. Number one, there is a memory leak with the game, and if left running for too long, can cause the server to crawl to a standstill, which isn't fun for your players. Two, desyncing on dedicated servers is a thing. Usually it can be addressed by a simple relog. With that said, let's get started. Once we've installed Steam CMD, we're going to navigate to the file and then we need to create a file. We're going to create file, right click new text document. We're going to call this update and it's got to be a bat file. So dot, let's get rid of the txt dot bat. Yes, we want to save it. That's fine. And then we're going to right click and edit. This is the file that we're going to run every time we need to update the game files from the, or to match the game server. What we need to do is we need to head over to the website. We're going to grab, we're looking for getting the server files. We're going to copy this. Now this can be used for the stable branch or the beta branch. We're going to be using the stable branch. Setup's the same way. Copy this. Navigate back to the update.bat file, paste it. Now we're going to add something to this. Okay, this doesn't work without it because you need to tell the directory where to save the game files. So for that, we're going to add plus force underscore install underscore dir quotation mark our game directory location so in my case it's g colon forward slash stationers is what i named my file close quotation mark and we're going to save close it and then run that file it'll take a few minutes to install everything uh, but once it gets done all your game files will be stored in the location that you chose so in my case it'll be installed on the g drive so i'll be back in just a minute while it's uh getting all the files downloaded all right so it's been downloaded as you can see um it's in my g drive but we don't want to start that yet because what we want to do is before we get everything set up we have to make sure that we forward the ports so the ports right here on the screen are the default ports you can have these ports set to whatever you just need to make sure that the settings so tcp udp and udp are assigned to the correct ports in this case 8081 tcp is the meta server the 27016 is the game port server and the 27015 is the default steam update server so once we get those forwarded uh here are all the legacy startup parameters. Uh, you can create a new game with this one uh, or a new game. Either one of the two work. Load or load game work. Um, you know, if you load latest, so on and so forth. One we're going to be using the most is setting path. Now, they have an example down here. I just simply grab this because we're leaving everything default. We're going to copy this. We're going to head back over to our game directory and we're going to create a new file called start.bat. You can name it whatever, but it's got to be a .bat file. So in my case, I'm naming it start.bat. And yes, we want to keep the file name extension. We're going to edit this file and we're going to paste it right here. So now we're going to edit a few things in this file. 
The first one is we're going to keep it as load and then we're going to this is the name of our world mars one i'm gonna name it to name of whatever doesn't matter in my case i'm gonna call it balls's world all right so for mars this is where we set the world type we can find those over on the wiki under the uh, new game parameter area. So Moon, Mars, Europa, Europa 2, MMS, yada, yada, yada. Um, we're not going to use Mars. We're actually going to use the Europa 2. We're going to copy that. We're going to head back over to our start.bat file. We're going to paste it there. Under the settings path, what we need to do is we need to set our game file directory. So let's navigate back over to our game file. The easiest thing to do is just to copy it here. So we're going to copy and then we're going to paste it inside the quotation marks. Under settings, we want to have start localhost true, server visible true, our game port, whatever we assigned it, and our update port. And then our auto save and then the save interval. Now this is in seconds. So 300 seconds equals 5 minutes, 600 seconds equals 10 minutes. We're going to stick with the default of 300. There are a few more settings that we have to do. Uh, one is called local IP address. And then it's dot or 0, .0, .0.0.0.0. Another one is called server name. Set this to whatever name you want it to be. Again, mine is going to be Balls Europa. And then difficulty setting, we're going to keep it as normal, but you can find all the settings on under the legacy startup server arguments. And then we're going to add server password. Now this is the password that others will use to connect to your server. With you being a local host, you won't have to use it. The server auth secret is in case you put the server on a machine that you're not on, you can add this auth secret to your game settings and still be able to access server commands from your game without having to log into the server itself. So we're going to call it um, admin. Then we're going to add one called server max players. Now this setting here controls the number of players allowed to connect to your server. The default is 10. You can set it to 30. You can set it to 200. It does not matter. We're going to leave it at 10. We're going to control save. We're going to start that file and then we're going to let the files populate. Be back in just a moment. All right, so the files are done. You'll notice that it's giving you an alert. That's fine. Allow access. That opens your ports. Um, and now your server is up and running. Server pause. That's how you know that the server is live. All right, so let's close the server down by pressing control c yes to terminate your batch and now let's you see here that the save file is where the directory was so now what we're going to do is go back and back and then we're going to run the file again this will now load the server properly to where you're able to connect all right the server's up let's start station ears and let's connect to our server so what we're going to do you can't you won't be able to find your as the local host you won't be able to find your uh server in the server list however you can connect to it via direct connect with your ip and port number that you set so as you can see we load into the server and boom there's europa everything's good walk around Everything's good. So you, you have an active server. You can see that we're online. Our server time that we've been online 
Um, so you're good. We're going to leave a session. All right. So just to show you here, uh, you can see where I connected to the server. Um, so it's, it's actually a fully operational server. Now I'm going to show you how to change the um, file map. Let's shut the server down. So now we're going to change the save to balls 2. We're going to do right click and edit to balls 2 and change the map to Mars. We're going to save it. We're going to start the bat file. Now, <clears throat> while this is running, let's click back over. You can see here that Mars is now our world type. Didn't change any anything else. Um, whoever you give your password to, they need to, it needs to be spelled the exact same. So capitalization and everything. Um, now let's click back over to the server. As you can see here, World Mars has been created. Let's go ahead and connect to the server. Uh, you won't be able to find it here in the list if it's on your local machine. However, if it's on a, a dedicated machine that your server is not running on, you'll be able to find it here based on the IP address. Go ahead and put in your IP. <clears throat> and now you'll see that we're on Mars. Do a little bit of walk around. So Mars is active. There you go. We're there you see on the server. Go ahead and exit the desktop. What we're going to do is we're going to save the server, shut it down, and you're good to go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you would like to see how to add mods to your server, leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.